Hello, Fontana. I'm your mayor, Aquanetta Warren, here to provide you with city updates surrounding the novel coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. I want to begin by emphasizing how crucial our actions will be in the next two weeks. The number of confirmed cases is escalating quickly, and we must take all extreme precautionary measures to slow the spread of the virus in our city. It's not going to be easy, but we need your commitment. The San Bernardino County Public Health Officer has officially ordered that everyone in the county wear a face covering when leaving home for essential activities. This includes bandanas, handkerchiefs, neck gaiters, homemade cloth ear loop covers. If you must, use a t-shirt or a scarf. I cannot stress this enough. Do not purchase N95 masks. We need to ensure our health care workers and emergency responders have access to those masks. Under the order, you do not need to wear the face covering if you are driving alone or with members of your household unless you lower the windows to interact with first responders, food service workers, or others who are not members of your household. Although not wearing a face covering is considered a violation of a health order of the California Health and Safety Code, the county does not expect law enforcement to impose citations on violators. Law enforcement and your great counsel is relying on you to use good judgment and do the right thing for the community at large. We need you to stay in your home. We need you to wear a face mask when only leaving to conduct essential business. But above all, we need everyone to exercise self-discipline and be responsible for the health and well-being of an entire community. Fontana is home to a significant number of essential workers in public safety and health care. They need to be able to do their jobs. Please protect them and your families by staying home. Staying at home does not mean you are alone. We are here for you, and there are many community resources available to assist. For crisis support, please text the Department of Behavioral Health at 909-420-0560. The county order also requires the enforcement of social distancing measures. As a result, we have closed all city park amenities, including playgrounds, picnic shelters, tennis courts, basketball courts, and parking lots until further notice. Grassy areas and walking paths of parks are currently open during regular posted hours. You are still encouraged to go outside for fresh air, sunlight, and exercise, but you must continue to maintain a distance of at least six to 10 feet and wear a face covering. As a reminder, the Fontana Community Center and all cities, neighborhood, and community centers are also closed until further notice. We understand that adapting to these changes and restrictions can be a lot to handle during this time, and we are working to ease the hardships. Our staff from Community Services Department have launched a virtual recreation center on the city's website. The virtual center provides educational and fun at home activities focused on online learning for you and your family. As we all work to prevent the spread of the coronavirus, please remember the only essential businesses are authorized to continue operations per the state of California. If your business is not designated as critical to protecting the health and well-being of all Californians during this pandemic, you are required to close. You can report a business that does not meet this requirement by calling the county's coronavirus hotline at 909-387-3911. Don't forget to support our local essential businesses who are still operational and are depending on you to make it through this difficult time. Many restaurants have ramped up their delivery options and are available to bring your favorite menu items straight to your home. 
We have created the Fontana to go menu with a list of eateries and other services. View the menu on the city's website. Although our facility lobbies are closed to the public, we are still open for business and city staff is still available to assist you. During this time, we have transitioned solely to online and over the phone services. Residents and businesses are encouraged to call the main line at 909-350-7600 or visit fontana.org for services. To report an issue to public works such as down trees, graffiti, or illegal dumping on public property, you can download the Access Fontana app on your mobile device and submit the request online at fontana.org. We are still open for business to serve you. We are just handling business differently for the safety of our staff and community. We have made great strides in our community to improve the quality of education for all students and create pathways from graduation to jobs. As you already know, all school districts serving Fontana students are closed for the remainder of 2019-2020 school year. But just because the schools are physically closed, class is still in session. We must continue to work together to ensure our students have the educational resources for success. I encourage you to contact your school or school district for any questions regarding coursework. To our graduating seniors, I applaud your hard work and I'm proud of each and every one of you for everything you have accomplished. Do not let this virus put a damper on your achievements. Your future is bright. Congratulations, class of 2020. When called to rise to the occasion, Fontana, you are a strong community with a strong resolve. We need to show it now more than ever. The discipline we show in these coming weeks will keep us safe and save lives. Lastly, I wanna thank all the healthcare professionals, first responders, and everyone risking their lives to keep us safe and our country moving during this virus. My prayers go out to those suffering from the virus. I offer my sincere condolences for all the families who have lost a loved one. I see you and I hear you. I wanna wish everyone a happy Easter and we will get through this together. Remember, we are Fontana together. Please visit Fontana.org for local updates on COVID-19, as well as resources for businesses, children, seniors, and the latest safety protocols for everyone in Fontana.